Things have got a bit different here in the last few years. Sure, it was great to have people to share your passion with, but before I knew it, rocks were hard to come by, and every time the wind dropped out, the beaches were packed. I might have brought it on myself a bit, but it's fair to say my skimming was dead in the water. Then one day, I got a call from Cousin Bob. Nobody has skimmed these beaches in these parts since the skimming party of the 40s. No, the big one, the World Championship. That's just what I needed to hear. Are we going to Melbourne or to Montesson today? Uh, just away. Just away, thank you very much. Wow. That's 97 kilos, mate. <laughs> That's a good one. I suppose we can sacrifice that one. Oh, that's too good. That's no good. Oh, that's enough. Oh, are you sure? Yeah, that's oh, enough. That's totally oh, fine. Thank you. Thank you. Bob had a beautiful big home on the water. He even put a great big feed and fireworks on for my arrival. Then it was time to hit the road and find some water. I was a bit rusty to start, but I wanted to give it a good old crack. I just needed a bit of skimbo time. It's fair to say I'd come a long way, and I had. But the one thing I know, without skimming, there ain't much. Now this ain't my island, but boy, it's good to borrow their water. Hold on, hold on, hold on, wherever you are will be my home. It took so long to come this far, from the belly of the beast to the twilight stars. We didn't come and skate, there were plenty of scars, and I didn't know love to